All right, this weekend the cars will be racing around Belle Isle for the Chevrolet Grand Prix presented by Lear, and one of the iconic landmarks on the island serves as a key focal point in the race. The James Scott Memorial Fountain is a destination for visitors to the island, and photojournalist Alex Atwell had the opportunity to see what makes this uniquely Detroit landmark work. Well, for somebody that did not like history in grade school and high school, to be able to actually put your hands on that history, you really start to understand what they may have been thinking in the teens and the 1920s to actually build something this monumental. I'm Robert Carpenter, I work for DT Energy, I'm an electrical engineer, and I was asked to work on Scott Fountain in 2007. So I came out here and I started to fix things, repair things, and ultimately attempt to restore the fountain to its original condition. So we're directly underneath the fountain bowl right now. So coming into this control room, this is where we have the electrical feed for the pumps, switch gear, and all the plumbing ultimately to feed the fountain. Yeah, it's really kind of a city down here with all the valves and controls. It's really become a personal passion, so I basically moved down onto the island so I can put in as much time as I can. We get started on cleaning, repairing, fixing. This is the main jet, so it goes all the way up the center. This main jet is driven off this pump that we're currently working on. All right, let's see if we can get this thing lit. We'll prime this pump, we'll start it, and then we'll ultimately get this thing up and running. We're in. So we're just going to start it. Ready? So the main jet is driven off of pump number one. Pump number two runs everything else in the main fountain. Pump number three runs the upper and lower cascades. All of these individual valves, for example, each one operates an individual turtle up above. Each turtle is grouped in these valves. So if you turn this valve up or down, it would adjust all the turtles at once. This one's vertical jets. Somebody had penciled it in here. These are the Rathons, and these are the Lions. If you look up above, up in the piping, there's individual valves up in there also. And this is the substation. It has its own substation underneath. These are the transformers that power the three pumps that operate the fountain. And again, what's the name of this fountain? The James Scott Memorial Fountain. And that was money that was left by James Scott. He was a bit of a scoundrel and a womanizer, gambler. He was not a very well-liked Person. In fact, there was somebody that suggested that they were going to build a statue perhaps one inch high. They thought that met the requirements of his uh, last will and testament. But they later uh, realized that that wouldn't have been appropriate, and they built the statue that they have there now. I think he wanted a, a monument to him personally. I think he was a, an individual that perhaps was selfish and it was about him, and luckily we got a fountain out of that deal.